Hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, this time we'll be talking about wireless mouse. Now, uh, a lot of you know about wireless mouse. Basically, if you have a computer, uh, if you have a full-fledged computer, uh, you have the USB port on it, you use a wired mouse on it. Or, if you want a wireless mouse, you buy a wireless mouse which has a dongle. Uh, this kind. And then you plug in the dongle. Or, you have a dongle like this. And you plug in the dongle onto your computer and then you use the wireless mouse. So these are the two categories that you know about. There, there is wireless and there are wired. But there's a third one too, uh, which does not need a dongle and uh, which can not only support your laptop, it can also support your phones, tablet PCs, uh, any device which, can, uh, which allows you to use uh, Bluetooth on it, uh, except for iOS. Uh, iPhones, uh, I have tried it, uh, it doesn't work on them. So, um, these are the regular wireless mouse. So, let me just show you some first. So, you get the set. Uh, you can, nowadays, these are more famous. Uh, so, you get a keyboard and mouse set uh, with a dongle with it. So, you buy this and then you connect this dongle to your computer and then you use it that way. Uh, the second one is this. Now, basically, you open the flap. This is the dongle, you plug it into the computer and then you use this mouse. So that is wireless mouse for you. But there is another one. This. Now these are Bluetooth mouse. Now there is a difference between wireless mouse and Bluetooth mouse. I have two of them. Uh, a Sony one and a Belkin one. Now these are pretty, when I bought it these were pretty expensive. Uh, these are generally more expensive than your regular wireless mouse. Uh, because of the technology that goes into it. Now, uh, with this, you have two common things. One is the power on off and the second one is the connect button. So, you keep the connect button pressed, it goes into the pairing mode and then you pair it to your devices. So, let's pair them once and I'll show you how it works. Uh, the good thing about it is, uh, let me just give you a scenario. Uh, like, you have a... Uh, phone which uh, allows you to uh, connect this to your HDMI port so you can connect a HDMI cable like this you can connect a HDMI cable and connect it to your um, TV now whatever is there you can play it on that now the problem is once you connect this the there's only one port on the phone same way there's only one port on your tablet PCs now uh, you may have tablet PCs with a USB connection like for example this one this has one USB connection on it but again even with this I have one problem if I connect the USB port over here uh, if I want to play movies and stuff if I want to connect an external hard drive I cannot do that because my port has been used so the Bluetooth mouse comes in handy in those scenarios where you want your uh, either you don't have a port or you want your port to be free. So, uh, all you have to do is switch it on and press the connect button. And it's in the pairing mode. Now, the good thing with it is it supports older uh, Android OS 2. So, now I will go into settings. Now, this is Android OS 4.1.2. Now, I'll go into Bluetooth and available device, Belkin. No, I don't want the Belkin. Let me check this one. So, older devices always used to take 0000, 0, 0, 0 4 times 0 as the password. So, as soon as it's done, now this is my Bluetooth mouse. As soon as it's done, I can just take the mouse. And I can, uh, I need a surface to use it, okay, let me just put it here. So, now I have a pointer on the uh, phone. I can go into the menus, with the right click I can go back, left click I can go into the menu, I can do scroll, I can do whatever I feel like. So. Now, th this mouse is working with my phone. I want to use it with my computer. Mm. 
I can straight away go into press the connect button again keep it pressed put it back into pairing mode and I can go onto my computer switch on Bluetooth add a device and I'll find Oh, it was already paired let me remove it first so that way I can connect it now uh, the good thing with it is if your screen breaks you can pair your mouse with it and then you eliminate the touch screen completely so you do not have to touch the touch screen anymore you can use the mouse to navigate all through the phone so now I Okay, so now I have this over here. Let me just focus into it. Okay, so it says ready to pair. I press that. Pair. And it's pairing. Now instantly the mouse starts working. Now I have nothing connected to it. No dongles, no nothing. Now my other problem with dongles are that I cannot connect it to the micro USB port. If I want to do that, I'll need to get one of this uh, micro USB port adapter, uh, the uh, uh, hub or a micro USB port adapter. So I have to connect that, connect the USB uh, over here and then use it. Now, uh, in that scenario, again, my port is being used. Uh, if I want to use a hard drive, I cannot. But if I put this and put a hard drive there and I use the Bluetooth mouse, I can use it that way. So that's how it is uh, useful for you. Uh, one more thing about this is it also works on non uh, OTG supporting devices. Uh, now, if you go to a shop and you say, I want to connect a mouse to my phone, they will tell you, okay, put a OTG cable, connect the mouse and it'll work. But if your phone does not support OTG, uh, the wireless mouse will not work. But with the Bluetooth, it doesn't matter whether you have OTG or not. Bluetooth mouse works on everything. So uh, that's one thing that I wanted uh, a lot of uh, wanted you to know because a lot of people have this problem that they have devices that they want to use mouse on, but they are either restricted because of the ports or the OS. Uh, that they have on the system like uh, they have an older OS uh, which doesn't uh, at that time the OTG support was not even invented or maybe they have a newer phone but there is no OTG on it so in all those scenarios you can buy a Bluetooth mouse and uh, you can use that now it is pretty cheap I have seen it online for around 600 bucks um, in one of the um, shopping websites so uh, this is pretty cheap now. It's not as cheap as a uh, regular wireless mouse, but uh, if you invest in it, this is a multi-purpose mouse. You can use it in different things. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll be back with more videos. Bye-bye.